even though android 12 is not perfect that hasn't stopped google from rolling out the first developer preview of android 13. hey peeps what's up munchy here back with another video and android 13 developer preview 1 has rolled out let us have a look at what is new in android 13 developer preview 1 and no this is not android 13 this here is android 12 on my poco f1 now the first change you will notice is if you go into your about android version google is calling android 13 as tiramisu now those of you who do not know tiramisu is a dessert and it tastes pretty good next change you will notice is that they have added some new quick setting tiles the first tile which they have added is one for 100 mode then there is a tile for color correction and because of covid we do need to scan a lot of qr codes so yes they have added a quick setting tile for scanning qr codes as well now in developer preview one this is disabled out of the box but how do you enable it the process for that is mentioned in the description of this video next thing you will notice new with android 13 developer preview one is that when you are creating a guest profile you can choose what all applications are installed on the guest profile now do note that none of the data is shared between the owner and the guest which means the guest profile will have to sign into those applications if they want to use them next change you will find is if you go into settings and then you can go into system and you go into gestures system navigation the three button navigation now has a gear icon beside it and once you tap on it you have the option of enabling or disabling your assistant by long pressing the home button for your three button navigation and if you go into the quick tap settings on pixel devices you will notice that you now have an extra option to toggle the flashlight on or off by quick tap or double tap on the back of your pixel devices next up if you now put your phone into silent mode by silent mode i mean silent mode not your vibrator mode so if you put your phone into silent mode then vibration is disabled system wide except for when you connect or disconnect your phone from the charger or when you use the fingerprint scanner to unlock your device next up the media player in quick settings has gotten some extra options like repeat shuffle now this is specific to your youtube media player or youtube music player i'm not sure if third party music players support it yet and the other change you will notice is that when you try to change the output you will notice that the volume sliders are a bit thicker and that ui has also gotten a new overhaul next change you might notice is with pixel launcher so when you press and hold on the empty space you might see an overlay of your five recent wallpapers which you can change on the fly without having to go into wallpapers and style and choosing your wallpaper now other than this they have also announced some new features which might not be available in android 13 developer preview one right now the most important of those is a new photo picker so what is this this is related to your privacy so they have implemented a new photo picker wherein you can share your pictures from your device or from the cloud from all the applications and the application doesn't necessarily need access to your storage which means it cannot scan everything on your storage and this i think is a pretty nifty feature then google has also said that with android 13 this feature which we see over here themed icons may finally be coming out of beta and how is it coming out of beta they have implemented something called themed icons wherein all the third party applications will also have their icon themed as per the material you theme which you are using at that specific point of time in android 12 as you can see only google apps are themed and any third party applications like fx file manager are not themed and last but not the least with android 13 you are also going to get 
per app language control which i again think is a pretty nifty feature and it is not enabled in android 13 developer preview one right now but with per app language control you can use a specific app in a different language and there it is peeps those were the new features of android 13 developer preview one and some of the features which you should expect in the final build of android 13 and of course this might not be a comprehensive list i might have missed out on something so feel free to mention those in the comment section on this video and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you